Forever 21 does not care about plus sizes. And how do I know this? I went to five different locations here in Los Angeles. And guess how many of them had their plus sizes in store? Come with me. I just want to point out really quickly that even though you go to five locations in Los Angeles, somehow that does, somehow you think that means that that's an indication of all plus size uh selections in forever 21 that's not how that works at all and then also even if you go to five locations and none of them have any plus size selections what does that mean exactly does it like for some reason these people can never actually look inter like internally and critically think that well hmm a store that is selling plus size clothing uh, is gonna make money off plus size people. Why would a store not carry plus size clothing then if so many people are plus size? Probably because they don't buy it. Probably because if they do buy it, they probably buy it online. There's probably a reason why there's not plus size clothing in stores. And I think it's so interesting when these people sit there and they go, this is ridiculous. Oh my God, there's no plus size section in the store. And then also, even the times when there is a plus size selection in the store, that's not gonna satisfy Samira, okay? I've seen many times of her going into a store and seeing the plus size selection. It could be an entire floor in some cases, and she'll still go, mm, it's not good, I don't like it. But you know why? Because that was never the intention. The intention was to not, the intention was not to find the plus size selection. No, 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 the intention was to just be disappointed regardless. So make no mistake about it. There is no pleasing this woman. The main intention for this person is to just be a victim. They said big bag bitch get Also this store this this uh this song is very bad. Ooh, the bag. Pardon? I'm wondering where can I find the plus sizes? This location doesn't have Oh, oh. The nearest one is the Forever City one at the Westfield Cooper City Mall. Okay, that's like 20 minutes? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you would never catch me doing that, dude. If I go to a store and they don't have a particular item, I'm not driving 25 30 minutes to the next location so I can get that same clothes. No guarantee on that. Because as you know, a lot of these places that do list that stuff doesn't mean they actually have it. Uh, so anyway. They said, Ooh. big, big bitch, you want a snack? Is Plus still upstairs or is it? Okay, thank you. They have a better selection upstairs, but it like they do. Box it all up. So apparently the Plus size section of here is not what it used to be. 521, are you removing the Plus size? I, uh, again, these people want the, un -mo the most unrealistic things ever, bro. When I buy a pair of pants, okay, and I, let's say I, I have a, I think I have a 32 inch waist, right? 30 to 32 inch waist. Let's say I have that waist and you're a bigger man than me. Let's say you're, I don't know, like 250, let's say, or like 230. Odds are those same pants are going to fit the same outline of your legs compared to mine. They just had to increase the weight size, increase the fabric that they use to wrap around your legs, right? When you weigh three four, five, six hundred pounds, and you start going up from there, weight is not going to distribute the same way across the body compared to somebody at a smaller size because that weight is just going to small areas of your body. When you start getting up there in the weight, you might hold a lot of weight in your legs. You might hold a lot of weight in your back. You might hold a lot of weight in your arms. So having clothes that fit your legs are not going, it's not always going to be optimal. It's not always going to be the case because they have to make these clothes fit across the majority of people. So you might not just be in that category. It's very impractical because if you are in these size ranges, there is no, there is no possibility any of these clothes are going to fit you because you carry a lot of weight in your legs. And then when you try to find a clothes that are in like your shirt size, you're never going to find it because that's not how that works. So I think it's very, very optimal here to take the initiative and lose weight instead of blaming everybody else on your problems dude and then you know again like even though there's a plus size here i 100 you know, she's still gonna find problems with it so plus size section screaming why are you screaming why is the plus size selection a mess one section like she just walked through like the whole store and found one section where somebody hung up a few different clothes on a rack that probably shouldn't be there or is there some clothes on the floor Great, Samira. This is awesome. Like, okay, I want to ask you a question really quickly. If you are in a room, okay, and let's say, for instance, you're in that room, and maybe there's, like, a box on the floor, would you then say this entire room is a mess? No, you wouldn't say that. You would just say there is a box on the floor that you should probably pick up, right? So why the fuck are you taking this entire section, and you're going, why is the plus size section a mess? It's one thing on the floor, Samira. It's one thing. Never... You can never be pleased. And this is why I don't fuck with these people, especially Samira. She actually pisses me off. She is going through this whole situation just to prove a point. And I bet for a fact that she went to particular outlets that she knew because most of the time you can go online and they will tell you if you go on the websites, they'll tell you whether or not they do have a plus size section or not. Um, I bet she went on 
those websites and found out the stores that didn't have plus size sections so that way she can go on this long journey throughout the entire day. I mean, really think about the situation we're in right now. She's literally traveling from store to store to store to store just to prove that she's a victim, which is incredibly sad. But this is her day, you know? Forget about walking, forget about eating right, driving from store to store to store just to prove that you're a victim. That's the optimal thing to do. Yelling this for well, this oh. big bag bitch, she got Seems like a pretty good selection, dude. Stand I don't know. On. Have you guys ever been to the men's section? I just want to point that out really quickly. We don't even have a section. We have like a corner. We have one corner and that compiles like everything. So socks, shoes, sometimes you'll even find some lingerie in there for women. And you're going, oh, wow, this, this one shirt looks really, oh, it doesn't fit me. Oh, it doesn't fit. And it's $40. It's $40 and it doesn't fit me. And that's the entire plus size selection for men. We just don't have one, okay? Our selection is so incredibly limited and is nothing in it. If anything, if Samira was really for equality, she would be outside of Macy's or like all these like JC Pennies and stuff like that and go, this is ridiculous. Men need clothes too. Forget about plus size selections. We need clothes for men. Men are walking around with clothes they've worn for 10 years. This is a problem. Because guess what? We need some inclusion, okay? I'm sick of going into the stores and sifting through four shirts and two of them look like I'm gonna look like Charlie Sheen from Two and a Half Men. I don't wanna do it. It's a number three. So put big yeah, bag bitch yeah, clothes yeah. on the way. Hi, welcome. Hi, is Plus upstairs? We don't have one in this store, dear. <laughs> oh, okay. will be Montebello or Porter City. Where's Montebello? Montebello oh. Mall. You could just Google it. It's like maybe 25 minutes from here, but I don't know right now what traffic. So give it to us, baby, give us a guy. Pardon, where are your plus sizes? Read this for we're just oh. Small, oh, okay. Man, Samara is such a drama queen, dude. She always got to make it seem like it's a lot bigger of a deal than it actually is, dude. You guys are hard to sharp for, okay? You guys don't have a lot of selection because you guys don't buy the clothes. I don't know if I can tell you. They would be there if, the, if there was the demand for it. There's not a demand for it. Therefore, they're not going to have them in the stores. I don't know why this is hard to believe or like... If this is like a crazy statistic that you're just finding out about now. But if they, if they sold, they would be there. <laughs> I should have went to Mozzarella Mall. Give it to us, give it to us when we step on a spot. Oh, look, my alma mater. Let's see if they have this in plus size. Pardon? Do you know if you have this in a 3X? The one shirt she picks out and not a 3X? Oh, Samira. I... I don't know why you chose a very particular shirt to ask them if they had a 3X. I thought the purpose of this was to ask whether or not they had a plus size section. Not one particular shirt that you just randomly found off a fucking rack. All right, Samara, you're really proving you're really proving good points here. I'm I'm gonna I'm give you an A one, uh, an A plus for definitely doing what you what you told us that you were gonna do. It was in the dorm section. The 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 dorm thing, the university thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing that you brought me. So yeah, of course, yes, that is the thing that you're asking about, right? Like you only gave me one shirt to ask me if it was in plus size. Uh, yeah, the one thing that you gave me. By the way, Samira, dude, there needs to be something done with your hair. Why is it so goddamn dry? It looks burnt the fuck up at the ends. You need to be doing something about that shit, okay? Take care, take better care of your hair. I can't even get my alma mater sweatshirt, and there's not a plus. And can you imagine that shit, dude? Size in sight in this maneuver. If Forever 21 actually cared about plus sizes, they would have them in stores. And Forever 21 is part of the reason why shopping at the mall isn't fun when you're plus size. It's not. It's not fun to shop at the mall regardless. I like. Have you ever been to a mall recently? There's like 10 people in there, bro. Nobody wants to go outside anymore. Like you're paying eight thousand dollars in rent and you're gonna go outside. Get the hell out of here, bro. I'm not doing that shit. I'm, I'm staying inside the whole fucking month because I'm paying too much money in rent. So, yes, I don't care about shopping in malls. It's not even cool anymore to shop in malls. It never has been cool. I'm If I'm going shopping, I'm in and out inside of five minutes. I know what I want. I don't know what you're doing there. And also, you know that you're in a non-optimized class when it comes to clothing, dude. You're in a different category. You're not going to be able to find clothes because everything in the world is not made for you in general. So... You know, hey, bro, it is what it is. Samara got to make her videos. She got to make it seem like she's a victim. Uh, it must be amazing to just be sitting there all day and just victimize yourself video after video after video. And like, <laughs> and people just look at you and feel so bad for you. I don't feel bad for you, Samira. You should take the initiative and lose some weight. So that way you can fit into regular people clothes. But obviously you're not going to do that because you're getting positive feedback in a very negative way for being fat like you're literally being rewarded for it so of course you're not going to do anything about it because you can't get any clothes oh, bye -bye, bye -bye, bye -bye. 
I guess I, I guess you can always go to Bath and Body Works. There's always something in there for you, right? But then you also got to look at it like this. She has to buy way more of whatever she's buying in Bath and Body Works because she has more surface area that she has to apply those particular things to. And then obviously when you are a, a plus size individual, a big individual, you're going to 100% use more more product than somebody like me, for instance, if I use that same product because I don't have as much body as Samira. So, I mean, I'm happy for her that she went to bed you know, body works and got some good shit, dude. But it's probably, she probably had to buy like double or triple what you or me have to pay because she has more body. Forever 21 put out a statement. And if you haven't seen... <laughs> bro, this is a crazy physique, bro. You know, I was thinking about this recently, right? I think it's awesome um that for me for instance right i if i need armrests i have to buy a chair with armrests right like if i want to rest my arms on this i have to have armrests but for for plus size individuals it's actually a benefit to be a little bit bigger if you want to just have armrests built into your body so there is a benefit to being plus size it's just kind of crazy niche category of things like can you imagine saying like oh yeah it's great to be plus size because my body contains an armrest like you yourself identify as like a lazy boy or something like that I mean, there are benefits. I'm trying. I'm trying to find benefits. It is across all of their socials, but I will put it here. Pause to read. Now, of course, I've already read the statement and made my own annotations, but there's one. Let's go back and read them, dude. Let's go back and read them. For, to our Forever 21 family. Cringe, by the way. I'm not a family member. I think I've been in Forever 21 like three times in my life and I was returning something because somebody somebody didn't fit. So I just returned it for them. Um, it smells really fruity in there. And is there even a men's section in the Forever 21? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Everything in there is way too expensive for me to even look at, let alone buy. But anyway, we're all a family here. We've heard the recent discussion from our plus size community and we want to address them openly and honestly our community is the the heartbeat of our brand and feedback keeps us aligned with our needs your needs and values there is a great learning opportunity for us uh for our brand and it is in the coming months we are committed to taking action based on the, your input this is a non-statement this is actually didn't address anything at all this is like a feel-good statement like hey guys yeah we know that you guys need stuff and we're gonna do stuff we don't know when but we're gonna do stuff guys trust on that it's gonna be done i don't know what it is i don't know when it's gonna be done but it will be done not not saying anything at all pause to read now earliest year we combined all our social accounts men's kids and plus size into one forever 21 account our goal is to create inclusive space where everyone feels at home at a fucking uh, bro when somebody says like our goal is to create an inclusive space nobody is ever thinking about a retail store bro that's so weird bro uh, a, an inclusive space forever 21 what dude okay whatever bro regardless of a size gender race we haven't eliminated our we haven't eliminated plus size or any other product category in fact we have actually expanded our offerings into categories like lingerie sleepwear activewear and swimwear and the collection is now available in 165 stores. So wait. So they increased plus size clothing, the sleepwear, which I don't know what sleepwear is. I don't know why people even buy. Why do people buy pajamas? I just, I've never understood that. Just wear sweatpants. Like, don't you guys just wear like underwear to bed? No, does nobody do that? When I go to sleep, I just wear a t-shirt and underwear. I, what is sleepwear for you guys? Are you really that bougie that you need to buy something to go to bed in? Why? What are you doing, dude? It's like people that have spent all this money going to the gym just to look good, and then they walk out and they ruin it. And now you smell musty for the rest of the day and your dusty-ass clothes you spent $80 on. No, it's not worth it. Stop spending all this money for nothing, dude. Go to bed in underwear and, and, and a t-shirt. No, you don't need anything else. We're like, oh, sorry, hold on. I got to go to bed real quick. So let me just really quickly get my Louis, my Louis Vuitton and my Crocs on just to make sure that I'm, like, comfortable. Nobody's doing that. Stop doing that shit, okay? It's weird. Uh, and online Forever 21. By the way... You have to actually see what they're not saying. So if they say, like, we have an actually expanded our, our, our offerings, and then they include online at Forever 21, all they're basically saying is we have done nothing in the physical stores, and we've included some new things on the store online, which, again, is not saying anything at all. You're just basically saying we have new stuff at the store online. That's, I mean, fine, I guess, but... Like, most of these companies are just going to say whatever. They're just going to bullshit you into thinking they're doing something, but they're not actually doing anything. We look forward into continuing our investment and our growing plus-size business on forever21.com, by the way. Now, of course, I... 
We prioritize transparency and communication. Uh, by the way, none of this is transparent and this communication is terrible. Uh, this would be the equivalent of going, did you cheat on me? And you go, what do you like? What do you mean exactly when you say cheat? Like, did I did I do something that another person might not have done in the same position that I was in? Maybe, maybe I know people that have cheated and they're they're not good people. But I know some people that have cheated and they're really good people. And like, I'm not saying that I would do what they did, but I know that if I was in their situation, it would be a tough situation to navigate. Like, that's basically what they're saying. They're just bullshitting you with a whole bunch of words just to make it seem like they're saying something. But in reality, none of this what they're saying at all has any value in reality. But uh, anyway, I mean, this is not any like, you know, hey, Samira might have some wins every once in a while, but this is a very easy win. I mean, I don't, like, I don't know what she's going to point out here, but regardless, um, heightened conversation. Thank you for those who have been with us for over 40 years. I don't know who the fuck is shopping at. Like, I guess I shopped there forever 21. Like, I do kind of return as a shopping, I guess, uh, like maybe 10 years ago. So I guess I'm a family of the forever 21 hashtag equality. Uh, welcome to those joining. We just fo what do you mean joining? Like, we're, yeah, I'm joining the club by going into Forever 21 and buying like a necklace or something like that. I guess we look forward to growing and learning and providing fashion for all. I've already read the statement and made my own annotations, but there's one part in particular that I would like to focus on. And if you're following along, this is on slide three. I mean, there's a lot to focus on here, dude. Uh, that first slide and the second slide are basically like just nothing statements. If I was Samira, I would be talking about those things, which is like literally non statements. And also the fact that they didn't actually specialize on saying that they're going to increase the plus size clothing in store, which is like the primary reason these people have problems with. So that would be the thing that I would focus on. I don't see anything really necessarily wrong with this on the last statement, but regardless, uh, it is like, I guess, dude very last sentence we look forward to growing learning and providing fashion for all okay for all and forever 21 i really do hope that you mean that it's okay like i'm sorry dude i'm so like i'm not trying to say that i had a better like the first two were way better dude you could easily go off on the first two uh slides because those ones were actually saying things of value at least like in the grand scheme of things like they were actually saying shit so i would have focused on those things rather than the last thing would be like oh yeah we're just gonna grow stuff i guess Okay, whatever. Especially given the comment section on your Instagram. Under I don't really care about the comment section, to be honest. The fact that you have have to apologize for others being too large for your clothing is crazy. That's true. Through this statement. Because to many people... Instead of bending to the fat mob, they should feel inspired to work out and fit. And look, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, though. Anybody that's saying, like, oh, you have to apologize for being plus size, they didn't actually apologize for being plus size. Like, my bad. They didn't apologize for not having plus size clothes. They just said we are going to change things which really doesn't mean anything at all like it's an ambiguous statement it has absolutely like i don't know what that actually means at all so even these people um i guess they weren't actually reading the statement but they just basically put out a puff piece that did nothing so we're the problem but these people are right I you are the problem i mean that's a factual statement i don't know what the fuck i tell you about that your entire body is a problem when it comes to health when it comes to navigating the world you're gonna have an issue doing almost anything in life um you are very very lucky that you are part of a very privileged class where you can live in america where we have accessibility devices that are going to allow you to navigate the world in a very accessible way but make no make no mistake about it dude uh that is only because we live in one of the greatest times to ever be alive ever you guys literally lose track of that all the time our bodies are the problem and not the brands that don't make our size yeah because if you're holding up okay look i'm gonna keep it a buck with you if you're gonna if you're gonna go after like big giant corporations and brands or whatever instead of like working on yourself you do realize that's never gonna happen right like you do realize that sure you can vote with your wallet which doesn't seem to be working since you guys are literally complaining about not being able to buy clothes for them so it doesn't seem to be working at all it's, if anything it's actually benefiting them because they're literally going oh yeah we don't have any clothes oh well like what do you guys want like you voting with your wallet would be the way in order to alleviate this problem and it's literally not working for you guys since you can't even buy things to begin with at these uh, particular outlets. So that's not working. And then also to sit there uh, to get mad at brands, you're externalizing the problem. You're putting all of your issues upon brands or big companies when these big companies are literally doing fine. So it's never going to get solved. You're literally just complaining and you're saying none of this is my fault. It's the brands. Well, if it's the brands, they're never going to get they're You're never going to you're never going to actually improve. You're never going to get close because guess what? They're doing good and you're doing bad or have them in store. So Forever 21 and any other brand that values growing. Bro, they should just listen, bro. You know what? I was just, I'm just thinking about this right now. Samira shouldn't be the individual that is advocating for this particular type of thing. I just came up with like five or six different ways that we could have navigated this whole thing in a more beneficial way. 
I should be the spokesperson for fat acceptance. Like, I, it should not be the case that I have to come up with better reasons for you guys to advocate for plus size clothing than your own fat advocates. Like, it makes no sense, bro. Samara is literally hooking onto something that has absolutely no value. You should not be dying on the hill of companies should be the ones that are adjusting for me instead of me being able to adjust for them because I have control over myself and I don't have control over giant corporations or like big entities. I don't, why should I have to be the one that has better arguments for you guys? Okay, whatever, bro. I mean, but listen to me, honestly. Like, if you guys want to have a battle and you guys want to fight against big corporations, things like that, and you want, like, plus-size clothing, listen to my arguments. Like, th these people have terrible, terrible, disgusting arguments. Learning and providing fashion for all. You have to start standing up for us. No, you can't even stand up for yourself. You're lit you literally don't even look like... Are you sitting down right now? I, I can't tell. And you stand up for us by showing up for us. Yeah, but they're doing fine. That's the issue. Is like they would have the clothes in stores if they were selling, but they're not selling. Therefore, they don't have them in stores, right? You understand what I'm saying now? So I get what you're saying, Samira, but you're literally not taking any type of accountability at all. And instead, you're seeding it all upon these phantom companies that are literally doing fine without having any clothes for you guys at all. And yes, we are still going to HQ, and I'm still taking y'all's feedback. So please, continue to type it up so I can write it down. See you at headquarters. Y'all, we got a message from Forever 21. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Hey, Samira, we saw your video and wanted to personally reach out for an open discussion. As inclusion is a core foundation of our brand. This is bullshit, by the way. I was like, I don't even understand. By the way, inclusion is so incredibly vague. It's such a, it's such a nonsense word. Like, inclusion could literally just mean we want people with more toes. Like, we want people with, like, 12 toes as opposed to 10 toes. Like, that could literally be what they mean. Such a nonsense, such a nonsense statement. Like, please specify. Um, foundation of our band is working goal of ours for to have all sizes represented in all our stores as we do online. So please let us know uh, that that we hear you and this is an important to us. We would like we would be more than happy to send you anything from our site that you are interested in. Free? Damn, Samara's about to get anything for free, but oh, nothing fits. Damn, can't even get anything here. And would also love to invite you to our office and hear feedback as. We continue to work on uh, gr towards growing our plus size community and business. So they're just saying like you can. We would like to send you something. Do I have to pay for that or can you just send me everything? Like I would just go. Oh yeah, you you want to send me anything? I would just go. You can you can go ahead. That's actually great. Can you go ahead and send me all? I'll take the whole. I'll take everything. One of everything. I'll take it. You guys are honestly great people. I mean, this is awesome. You guys are gonna send me everything. <sighs> Wow, you guys are great. Obviously, they're not going to do that. But um, by the way, I don't know if this is actually going to do anything at all. They're going to fly out Samira as if she has anything valuable to say at all. This is like probably the worst person to ever send to a company to advocate for change since she literally has no idea what she's talking about. And the points that she does make literally contradict themselves. She has no grounding in reality. Honestly speaking, if you want a fat advocate that's going to go over there and they're, they're going to advocate for your rights, send me. Because I can literally come up with better reasons why you guys need clothing and how to actually work through that rather than Samira because I don't even think she has room temperature IQ. Every time she talks, I literally lose brain capacity. Kidding. Pause to read it. Nah, as you can see at the end of their message, they invited me to come to their office because they want to hear my feedback. And yeah, but your, your feedback is almost valueless as they continue to grow their plus community it's just it's just a pr stunt at this point dude i mean that's just really what it is hey we're gonna invite this fat lady from tiktok and she's gonna tell us about stuff we're not gonna implement anything but you know it still looks good right like we're you know inviting this this fat lady on the internet that tells us that it's wrong that we don't have plus sizes in store we're not gonna do anything after that but it will be cool right like how much is the plane ticket uh she's gonna need two seats huh damn um that's all right i mean what is that like an extra 500 on top Give her, you know, send her out the $1,000 plane ticket. Uh, obviously, we got to put her in first class to show how inclusive we are. And then also, send her, like, a couple different clothing. How much are we wasting? $2,000 just to get a PR stunt? It's nothing, dude. And business. Now, of course, I accepted it. Thank you so much for reaching out. I truly do appreciate it. It is great to hear that brand val that that the brand values inclusive and working all sizes represented in all stores. I am I'd love to come to your office to discuss feedback further. Let me know the next steps. Best Samira. It just kind of makes me angry that her feet are out. I don't know why like she did this particular video with her feet out. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't like looking at feet too often. I also don't like that her table is missing a piece of it. I don't know why it's shaped like that. It looks like somebody just took a bite out of this corner. 
corner piece here. But anyway, um, yeah, Samara, you're not the right person for this. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Some people are just not the right. You're, you're good. At, you're good at making things sound good, but you, you, everything you say is absolutely valueless. This message should have been sent to me. I would have been a better advocate for you guys, 100%. Even though I don't believe in any of this shit, I would be able to articulate better reasons and. That's just because I'm better than you. No, I'm stop. Stop it. Stop it. Invitation because I have a notebook full of feedback. But my going is not just about me. I would like to get the feedback from our whole community. So down in the comments, whatever feedback you have for Forever 21, please type it up. And I'm going to make sure it goes to the office. So yeah, but like, okay. Do you think they're actually going to do anything? Like, okay, Samira's so main arguments when it comes to plus size clothing is that it should be inclusive for all people. That's basically it. Most of what she wants is not actually reinforced in reality because it's not practical. So when you make clothes for people, you have to follow a basic idea of the human being body structure, okay? But if you reach sizes that are almost in uh, sizes that are far off the deep end of what human beings should look like, it's going to be very difficult to create clothes for those people and also to top it off um, it's a logistical nightmare. I mean, we're literally talking about making particular clothing. Like you have a you have a let's say you have one pair of jeans, you would have to make that pair of jeans in like 50 different styles because fat people don't just come in one size. No, if a 400 pound fat person came in, guess what? That, for, that 400 pound fat person is going to be completely different body wise compared to another 400 pound fat person. So like that one pair of jeans that you made for this one particular fat person at 400 pounds is not going to fit the next person at 400 pounds with that same pair of jeans. As opposed to, for instance, me, I wear size small. I think my jean size is like 30 to 32, depending on the time of the year. And if I go in and you go in and you wear a size small, odds are you're probably gonna fit the same pair of pants that I am within a little bit of difference, right? For somebody like Samira compared to another person of her same weight class, it's not going to be the same. So what she's actually advocating for is almost impossible from a logistical level. It's not going to be something that they're gonna be able to mass produce. They might be able to do it online when they can just create orders, right? They, but even then, it's going to be limited because, again, you can't just make clothes willy-nilly based off of certain specifications. Go to a tailor. See how difficult it is to make a shirt. It literally takes them, like, days to contour to your body, to your liking. So, I don't know why the fuck you would think a retailer would be able to do it for hundreds of thousands of people across the world, and they don't even have exact measurements. It's not possible. It's not possible. I got an apology from Reformation. What for? Well, back in May, I went to their Soho location to try some of their clothes for the first time, but they didn't carry their extended sizes in store. Do you have your 3Xs in store or no? 3Xs? Like, like, like size 3X? Oh, no. No? Okay. No. What's the largest you have? You big as hell if you can't fit in an XL, bro. You big, man. Okay, thank you. Her hair is so dry, bro. She got to do something about that, man. You would... They you would think for somebody like Samira, dude, I see constantly people that are very, very obese or fat. They have this thing where they don't take care of their bodies, but they micro, they, they macro take care of themselves. So they take care of the, like their makeup, their nails and their hair, but they don't care about their, their, their bodies, which would be the, the, the micro, sorry, the macro. Yeah. Eventually saw the video of my experience and reached. Hi, Samira. We just, dude, Samira's got to think there's something going on here, right? Dude, just because she walks into a store. Samira's so got to be up about this. She's literally like the spokesperson for all these things because they think that if they reach out to her and then she posts a video on it and they go, well, look, guys, see, this store is actually reaching out. They're actually saying something of value here because Samira is super gullible and she's not willing to actually ask the questions that need to be told, bro. But let's see what she says. Let's see what they say. Hi, Samira. We just saw your video. Though we do carry extended sizes in select stores, we're sorry that the location that you visited did not carry the option for you to try on. So... This is like a big problem I find is that like you go to one store and somehow that's going to be reflected of the entire branch, every single branch of the store. That's like somebody seeing like, oh, I don't know. That's like seeing a video of a black guy robbing things and then look and then going all black guys do this now. Like you just you just automatically think I saw a video of a black guy doing this or even 100. Let's say you see 100 videos of black guys robbing 7-Elevens. And now suddenly because you saw those 100 videos, you think all black guys are now like passive abilities of robbing 7-Elevens when statistically that's not the case. You just saw 100 videos of black guys robbing 7-Elevens. It's like it's just reinforcement biases like you believe one thing and then you keep looking for that same thing and it just keeps confirming your biases so when samira goes into one store and they don't have plus size 
that's not an indication that the other stores don't carry that same plus size selection it just means that that store that she went to didn't carry it and by the way it would be very easy for Samara to go to five, six, seven stores and then go to the exact one that doesn't carry the plus size selection and hit record and upload it to TikTok to make it seem like they don't carry plus size selections. Like any of those red pill podcasts where they invite women with like room temperature IQ to answer questions like how many countries or like can you name any countries outside the United States and they go Africa? that's not a reflection of women that's just a reflection of the women that you found you nitpicked you found women that were extraordinarily dumb so that way you can have them on your podcast so you can like you know fucking troll them and shit like that so you can ha absolutely have those base takes and make it look like women are dumb so same shit here just in a different format but anyway uh we're sorry that the location did not carry the the uh, that being said, we definitely hear you and want you to know that this is important to us. We are still very focused on inclusivity and appreciate your feedback. We will pass along this to our team. If you'd like to send over a list of items that you were hoping to try on, as well as the store that you would like to stop by, we would be happy to check with our retail team to see if we can send them over. So Samara's just getting special treatment because she's fat? I mean, I guess, dude. I, it doesn't. It, they didn't actually say anything. They just said... You know, thinking about this right now, if you go to a retail store, that's your that company has to buy that property, okay, or rent it. They buy that property. They're only going to put on shelves what they think is going to sell, right? <clears throat> it would be very stupid to put things on the shelf that is that are not going to sell. Sell. I mean, this is a very expensive depending on where you put the store and even in general, if you're buying a store, dude, it's going to be a lot of money. So, yes, naturally, they're not going to have everything in the store, and maybe they'll have different stuff in different stores because maybe that retail space is a little bit less valuable or whatever. Maybe there's more plus-size people in that particular area or whatever. So, that would make sense. Uh, I just don't understand, like, again, this is another issue is just sit there and go, like, all stores should carry plus-size selections. Sometimes it's just not practical. If you have a very, very small store, you can't fit everything in there, let alone a clothing item that's going to be double or triple the size of a regular clothing item. I just don't think Samira has actually thought about any of this shit, and it's like, too easy for me to like hear those like hear hear these words hear what she says and immediately be able to like decapitate all her points because she hasn't actually thought about any of this out to rectify the situation by sending items of my choice to a location of my choice by the way that doesn't actually solve the problem because all they're actually saying is like oh well we're sorry that you went to the store i'm, I'm we're sorry that you went to the wrong store <laughs> we're sorry that you went to the store dumb person and, uh, you know, in order to alleviate that, we'll just send some stuff to a store that you want to go to and you can buy that there, I guess. Anyway, bye. So, of course I chose the one in Beverly Hills. Bro, Samira's stupid, bro. She didn't, she didn't actually solve the problem. The, the problem that she had was the clothing items should be in all the stores. They replied with, we'll send clothing items to the store that you want, but only for you. That didn't actually solve the problem. Dumb person, Samira. You are actually... You actually defeated your own purpose. Okay. Anything for the content, though, right, Samira? Anything for the content? I've always dreamed of shopping in Beverly Hills, but... Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for reaching out. I really do appreciate it. Why? They're actually not doing anything that you want at all. They're not... They're, they're not even doing the bare minimum, either. They're literally just going, we'll do it for you, and that's it. So, you, so you're just okay with getting special treatment and like you just don't give a fuck about the, everybody else even though you're literally sitting there going like, no, this is not for me. This is for you guys. So you just don't care, right? Like that's obviously not true. You see how easy it was for me to contradict you, Samira? It's, it shouldn't be that easy. It really shouldn't be that easy. Please stand on some business. Uh, I'll compile a list of items that I was looking to try on and send those, send those over. Would the retail team be open to leaving some items in the store for other plus size customers to try on stocking at least a few plus size stores in the most proper the most popular sizes uh items in the shoppers to try on to, before they buy is a way to begin and resolve the current economy no they're not going to do that because that's not what they said if they did it's not like they didn't see the video right they're not going to do that so you see all right whatever at least she did bring it up None of the stores carry plus sizes. For this reason, even though these pieces look absolutely incredible on me, I asked Reformation to let these items remain in store for other plus size shoppers. And they're not going to do that. And by the way, this doesn't accomplish anything because you're just doing it for one store. And that's not even the purpose because you just went to one store and they literally said we had them in other stores. So 
All right, whatever. Because if brands are gonna force us to find our side- Yeah, this doesn't look good. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Okay, that looks really bad, dude. This is exclusively online. The least they could do is give us the opportunity to try them on in store. But that would defeat the purpose. If you're buying them online, why would I go into the store to try them on? So is it like I just go in and try on some sweaty corset that somebody like 40 other plus size people wore today so they can just go back home and order it online? Okay, well, that doesn't make sense, Samira. First. I mean... That looks bad. I think you're wearing that backwards. Would you ever buy a car without test driving it first? Yeah, but what you're, a what you're asking for is, like, to go to the dealership, test drive a car that, like, a million other people probably already test drive, and then bring it back, and then go home and be like, I'm gonna buy this online. That's, that, it, it just, that doesn't make any sense. So, like, what you're basically doing is driving to the lot, test driving it, driving home, and then just buying it at your house. It's not even a good comparison. Plus size customers deserve the same in-store shopping experience as straight size customers. That's not true. And I'm sick of people saying this shit. Nobody deserves anything, first and foremost. The reason why things are in the store to begin with is not because they deserve to have those clothes in the store to begin with. The reason why they're in there is because they sell. And that's the only fucking reason. That's how everything works, Samira. Uh, I'm sick of you saying, like, we deserve this and we deserve that. That's not how that works. They're literally only in the store because they sell. That's it. There's a reason why... Plus size stuff is not in the store, Samira. I don't know what, all right. We deserve to see our sizes on the rack. Samira, real deal, just be advocating for shit that doesn't make sense, dude. You know, it'd be one thing if you were a civil rights leader and you were advocating for the equality of, you know, other peoples to be able to vote or do other things such as so forth, because that would be like actual equality. You're trying to make sure that everybody has the same rights government wide. But if you're talking about a private entity and you're talking about how they should be, they deserve to do this, that private entity would go, <laughs> suck me off. What is that even, what are you even talking about, bro? We only sell clothes that actually sell. There's a reason why every company is making things that, there's a reason why, like, Call of Duty suck every single year. You know why? Because they sell. Even though I don't like them, and most people will sit there and go, it's not that good, they still sell. So, I get what you're saying, but it's not grounded in reality, Samira. We deserve to see mannequins that look like us. And keep in mind, everything that she's saying sounds okay, but it's actually incredibly stupid. Everything here. It doesn't make sense. None of it really matters in reality. Plus size mannequins would actually do nothing for you guys. I don't know why the fuck you guys want to see plus size mannequins. You guys don't even go outside and walk around enough to even see mannequins. It's not, it's all irrelevant. None of this shit fucking matters because most people, there's a reason. If they sold, they would be in the store. That's all I'm saying. We deserve to feel just as confident and beautiful. It's just so, man, dude, that's not good, bro. Some Hey Arnold shit I'm looking at right now. It's not about deserve, Samira. You keep hitting this with just entitlement, just entitlement. As everyone else. And I definitely felt beautiful today. Bro, what are you fucking talking about, dude? Those shoes ain't it. What are those type shit, dude? You felt beautiful today because you went into the store to try and close just to give them back. You, you accomplished nothing. Nothing here of value. You made a video of you crying while you tried on clothes because you're so fat you can't fit into regular clothes. Instead of finding a solution to lose weight, you instead took an opportunity to go into a store, disprove your own point, and feed into bullshit. So thank you, Reformation. No, it's not a thank you, bro. Dude, I'm I'm just I'm sorry, dude. Samara really about to piss me off, bro. Now y'all better come get these plus sizes up in Beverly Hills. Yeah, but they're not there anymore. Like they just did that for you. Like I don't want to try on the same clothes you wore, dude. I'm good, dude. That's just gonna be wet. Pardon? I was looking to find um these pants in a 26 and the Yo, 26. God damn, 26. Woo! That's what I would say. Items in a 3x. 26 is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Tomorrow, so real deal, just be making random faces, bro, out in public, too. What? You don't got that thing that. I, that uh, really? You don't got my size, even though I know I'm big and I don't fit anything? Oh. Oh. Really? Tomorrow, so come on. Stop it, bro. So why are you being dramatic? I thought, I thought Old Navy had all the plus uh, sizes in store. No, we don't. Sorry. That was like 2020. Yeah. We don't do that anymore after plus size people don't walk. So we don't sell that. Yeah. It turns out we did have them and they just kind of sat on the shelves for like literally three years. And we were like, yo, why do we have this on the shelf? It's literally taken up like five times more retail space that we need for like the regular people's clothes. I haven't even seen a plus size person come in since like June and that person fell in. So we don't need these on the shelf anymore. Let's just get them off the shelf. Like this is ridiculous. Actually, matter of fact since we already bought these clothes like we technically own them uh does anybody want to just like 
take them home as like bed sheets or something like that like they're they're still good technically i mean none of nobody here can actually wear them obviously but yeah jared go ahead take take a couple um your mom needs bed sheets right your mom yeah you could use it as a couch cover that's fine too that's what i imagined the store was probably like after like 2020 or 2021 uh -huh. Store, since it's smaller, we only go up to 22, and then we can okay. Online. okay, so I'm a real, I hate it, bro. I hate, I hate the cringe, dude. Get this fucking cringe. I'm like, oh, I can't believe you don't have plus sizes. I won't be able to find these in a, in a 3X either. Why the fuck are you asking that question? She just said no. No. We don't nah, we don't got that. You should probably go back to where you came from. You know, go back and just shopping on Torrid. We don't got whatever the fuck you looking for here. Oh, maybe I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Dude, what are you fucking talking about, bro? You, you, your life is so fucking... Your life is so great that you're about to cry in an old navy because you don't got the pants in your size? Samara, a real deal is the epitome of privilege, bro. <laughs> we order for you to be free shipping. It takes like five to seven business days for him to ship them to you. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> not only is Old Navy not cool in 2020... Ooh, damn, bro. Dude, that... That bag is smothering your hand. Anyone, they pulled one of the biggest scams in plus size history. Don't know about it? Come with me. Tell me about the scam. Ah, <sighs> body equality. A dream, right? Well, in 2021, Old Navy made this dream a reality with their self-proclaimed fashion revolution. My grandma, who had also never been able to shop for her size in any store, also wanted to see the fashion revolution that Old Navy was talking about all over television. And it truly was a revolution. In store, every rack, every Every style in every size it was definitely a cause for celebration i really wonder why they they it look old navy did do this this is a fact in 2020 to 2021 they 100 percent did do plus size selections in not all stores but a good amount of them and i guess there was a whole bunch of fat people that came in but you gotta also understand this is a very bad time to ever have anything go on when it comes to going outside bro 20 2020 to 2021 was peak COVID. That was crazy. I don't know what the fuck Old Navy was doing, bro. Nobody was going outside, okay? That's first and foremost, okay? Top it off, fat people don't shop. They don't go to places to buy clothes because they don't go outside to begin with. At least not the people that have a problem finding like big, big clothes. Most fat people don't have a problem finding clothes. They have an average time uh, finding clothes. It's probably normal, just a little bit harder maybe because you're fatter. So therefore most clothes are like, you know, like they do contour, like XL or XXL. Like most people are gonna fit in that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like up to that size. Once you start getting to the extreme size, you're in a very niche category of being big, okay? Most fat people are not like 350. Most fat people are not 400, 500, 600 pounds, okay? And by the way, once you get over those thresholds, it becomes very difficult to do almost anything in life therefore it's a reason why when they had these clothes in the store because of all the things i just listed and plus the fact that fat people of that size that are going to the store to buy those clothes don't go into the store so it's like it, there's a reason why they just got taken off the shelves they didn't sell no wonder why old navy had four and by the way virtue signaling right now to make it seem like old navy such a bad it's not a scam by the way they just did it and they were like damn it's not working and they just didn't do it again they have the right to do that they're they're literally a private business so it's not a scam i don't know if samara knows what the word scam means but boots balloons and streamers set up to mark this revolutionary moment <laughs> cringy as fuck bro this is how you know it's peak COVID, dude. Look at the mask. That day, my grandma and I had a shopping experience we thought we'd only ever dream of. But the dream quickly turned to a night. Old Navy scales back inclusivity sizing in stores less than a year. But why, though? But why? But go over why, though? Old Navy to set back, to scale back its inclusive sizing strategy. But why, though? Why? I want to know why. Everything. Gone. Old Navy committed to bribing an exclusive shopping experience for our customers, offering every woman's style and every sizes. Da, da, da. We launched inclusive sizes from 0 to 28 in stores and a, 30, a 0 to 30 online August 21. Since then, we have welcomed millions of new customers into our Old Navy, and we have learned a lot about where we and how we shop. We are pleased with our new customers and our brand. Da, da, da. We have not seen the expected demand for the extended sizes products in our stores and in, in this channel and such. We will further re 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 we will be furthering relining our store's inventory later this year to better meet the demand. Isn't that what I exactly said? Like you guys don't go into store to buy the shit, so why the fuck would they have it on the shelves? Are you fucking stupid? You're literally pointing out the exact reason why they had to stop doing it. They weren't getting people 
buying the clothes. So why the fuck would they have the clothes on the rack? It's called supply and demand. If that's just not, if there's no demand, why would there be a supply? And who's to blame? The plus size customers, apparently. Well, yeah, that's true. You know, they wouldn't sell like Call of Duty every year if nobody bought it, right? Like that's not how that, you can't sell something if nobody's buying it. You understand that, right? So yes, it's, yeah, yes. What do you think is happening? Did you, do you think that Old Navy just doesn't like, do you think Old Navy is like plotting against fat people? Like, I'm pretty sure they did this for good reasons, right? They were like, oh yeah, it's probably gonna make like a lot of money or whatever. And like, you know, fat people need clothes too and shit. But uh, hey dude, it's not like selling. So what the fuck are we doing? Like get that shit off the shelves. What the fuck do you think, what, what do you think is going on? Like, are you really like conspiracy brained right now? Like, what are you, what are you thinking? Apparently, they say there wasn't enough demand. Yeah, they no shit. Uh, uh, well, I would expect the company that is trying to make money to not lie about the... F if a company wanted to make money and they're selling a particular item and that item doesn't sell as well as they thought it was going to and they stop doing it and then you think that they just stopped selling it because they just don't like fat people even though it was making them money... Does that make any sense at all? You're going to stop selling a product that's making a lot of money because you hashtag don't like fat people? Okay, Samira. Yeah, really great logic there. They say we didn't show up. Not and, showing up in the middle of a global pandemic isn't a good excuse. I, I mean, that's exactly what I was saying, too. I mean, obviously, there was no, like, but even now, you fat people don't show up regardless. So. But it's been almost three years since then. Things have definitely gotten better. Right? Pardon? I was looking to find um, these pants in a 26 and it's forever a victim. These items in a 3X. 26 is? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, we have them online. Oh. It's funny yeah. as hell, dude. Get shut the fuck up, dude. I thought we had all the plus uh, sizes in store. Stores. Dude, she knew, bro. Dude, I fucking hate Samira, bro. Like, she literally Googled that shit and it said, like, yeah, we have pushed back our plus size selection and goes into Old Navy anyway and goes, Oh, I thought you guys had plus size in stores. Even the, oh, hold on, let me just close this app real quick that says you guys stopped doing this in 2021. My bad. Yeah, I thought you guys, I thought you guys did it. I thought, you, oh, Samira, shut up, bro. It's smaller, we only go up to 22 and then we okay. can So dramatic. Okay, okay, so I won't be able to find these in a, in a 3X either? No, we don't find the 3X either anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, maybe I'm gonna cry. You're yeah, acting like a, f acting like a ten-year-old. All right. <laughs> we order for you to be free shipping. It takes like five to seven business days for them to ship them to you. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. So the body equality gone. You still think Old Navy is cool? Yeah. I mean, it's all right. It's really expensive. I wouldn't shop there just because of how expensive it is. Unless Old Navy wants to send me random pieces of clothing, I'll probably wear it then. But I went to Old Navy with a 50% sale across the entire store, and I still was like, this shit is ridiculous, bro. What, do you raise the price by 50% before you lowered it? Asking you shall receive. Today we are on Plus Size Patrol at Target, trying to find some shorts, because you got eyes and I got thighs. Uh, man, this, this, you know, Samara got a really good life, though, to just be traveling from store to store and being disappointed every single time, even though she knew that that shit wasn't going to have the clothes that she wanted. And it is hot outside. Let's go. Plus size, they said big bag bitch get to the bag. They said Ooh. big bag bitch, you want a snack? Well, this Ooh. big bag bitch, she got the stack. So put big yeah, bag bitch yeah, clothes yeah, on the yeah, rack. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. on the rack. It's not, it's not a bad song, but it's also really cringy for, because of the context of the song, dude. <laughs> a big back song. I mean, take the power back, but I've heard a lot of people say that it's just offensive regardless to say big back. So, all right, guys, that's the end of the video today. I can't stand Samira. It's so difficult to watch anything that she does because she does everything so incredibly cringy. She's, she's super dramatic. She sets up her own failures just to do, just to prove a point. She is actually unintelligent. I don't know how many times I've heard her say something that she immediately contradicted and she still fell for it. It's crazy. But regardless, you're an amazing person. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in BBW because we're all beautiful big black women. That's what I am. That's I'm a big black woman, okay? That's what I'm representing. I'm a queen. I'm a goddess. Um, hashtag in my era. I'm in my mean girl era, dude. It is what it is. Yes. And you know what? You should be in your Mean Girl era too. I love Mean Girls. It's a great, it's a great movie. Uh, Lindsay Lohan was uh, uh, awesome in that movie. It was Lindsay Lohan, right? 
Or was it like Gwyneth Paltrow? I don't know. They all look the same to me. But regardless, I love that movie. You're a beautiful person. You smell amazing today. I want to thank you for being so, so incredibly moisturized while watching this video. I love that you drank that water while you were watching it and you did that exercise. Or right now, you're probably doing something that requires effort. And that's really amazing. I'm really happy that you're able to do those dishes. Or you're able to do that cardio. Or you're able to lift that weight. Or you're able to walk down the street. Or you're just doing nothing at all and just sitting down beating your meat or whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter. I love it regardless. You're a beautiful person. You're a specimen of you humanity keep being amazing if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description it's just my instagram twitter discord all that stuff will be listed down below enjoy the rest of your day guys